I felt like it. Boom! What's going on, guys? Welcome back for something different. This is Buster LP, and welcome to Pokemon Brown. I know I said I was going to do Pokemon Red next. And going in that order, I was going to pick the Bulbasaur after already picking the Water type for Sapphire. Ugh, and the Fire type for Crystal. But, since this is not a main part of the series, this is Pokemon Brown, I've decided that I'm actually going to pick a different Pokemon that's not Grass type and continue with the whole um, Water, Fire, Grass thing in the next game. But, whatever, you, you get the idea. Let's just start the new game. So this is a ROM hack created by some guy, I don't remember who. I really should give him more credit. But I will post a link in the description, I suppose, if you guys want to play this game anyway. Uh, hello? You must be new here. Welcome to this land called Region. My name is Timothy, but you can call me Tim. I am the island Pokemon tutor. This is a Pokemon. There are a lot of them in these region area. This Pokemon's actually really interesting as a game. It includes the spriting of, like, a lot of Pokemon Yellow spriting, but then it also includes Pokemon from, like, up to Generation 4. So this is a really interesting game. I've done a fair extent of research on these, and it seems that they have special capabilities for fighting as well as being tame. Household pets. Oh, um... What's your name, young man? My name is none other than Ross. It has been a little while since I've actually played this game, so it might be a little bit blind to me technically, but I'm sure I'll start to remember crap. Oh, Ross, I've never heard that name before. Oh, I suppose old French is not very popular in region. Can you give me a weird name too? Sure, um, how about your name is... Damn it, I never prepare for these names, and I always kick myself later when I come up with a better name. Maybe I could call it after a real life person. Alright, let, let's just call it Anne. Why not? I know the Gary of this game is a really whiny bitch, so that'll be really hilarious. <laughs> wow, you're good. Let's battle when we meet up again. Ross, now that you have met some people, all you need now is your journey to town. I think your mother has settled in and done unpacking. Okay, apparently there's a little bit of misspelling, but I don't blame that. Your adventure starts here, so come see me soon. Cause so, some, so, God damn it, so come see me sometime tomorrow, after you awake. See you later. By the way, Professional spriting, as in, like, the coloring by me. I self-made the colors. Ross is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. By the way, this is a glitch. You wake up, and, uh, you can't hit that. Can't go back here. Yeah, that, that was, like, a spriting that was removed. So, you can just click that Super NES thing, and it never happens again. Can't click here, can't click there, can't click anywhere. Time to go downstairs. So, at first glance, this looks pretty similar to the first one. Like, there's minor sprite changes. But whatever. Good luck on your following your day in swift steps, sweetie. Go south and look for the professor. Yep. And red screen of death, and welcome to this town, I suppose. I don't know what town this is called, but I did the professional spriting work. By going into this thing, I changed the sprites slightly. For example, I made green the main palette of your main character, as well as made brown the main color of the world, because usually this is just black and white characters. I'm probably going to do the same thing for Pokemon Red, but uh, when we get to that, that's when we get to that. I'm pretty sure there actually is a color feature for this game where you can input it and you can actually get the colors of the Pokemon. But uh, I'm too lazy to go find that, so instead I just did the coloring myself. <laughs> yep. What do you have to say, mister? Those Pokeballs at your waist. You have Pokemon. It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Uh, I suppose it is. I suppose it is. What do you have to say, little Misty with the green hair? My grandpa told me to stay here. He is very mean. That's weird. Okay, red screen death. My brother is gone. <laughs> well, that's a little off. 
awkward. My son's leaving today, like you are. Oh, that's Gary. Or Ian, I suppose. He always calls himself Ian. What does that mean? Like, is that not his name? Speary. Tweet, tweet. I don't know what kind of voice you'd have to make for that fucker. Uh-huh. But hey, look, a cuttable branch. And I don't see anything like pass that way. I wonder what's like behind there. Huh, can't really see. Oh, well. Why the hell is this guy stuck in a rock? What the hell? Hey, are you going to be a Pokemon trainer? Ross? No. Why not? Because I don't feel like it. Nah, just kidding, I am. Let's go. What does the sign say? Seashore City. Where waves of new journeys begin their long travels. Misspelling of there, I don't care. And we get that classic Pokemon theme. Oh, I, I've missed it. So yeah, I kind of never mentioned why I just felt like doing this. As my voice cracked, I just felt like it. This road is pretty straightforward. You can never get lost in this road. Oh, I'll, I'll find a way. But in reality, no, you can't. You, you really can't get lost in that road. Route 53, Gravel Town, Seashore City. Hi, the Gravel Town Mart is giving out free samples today, so go ahead and take a free potion. And we get ourselves a potion. Sorry, I'm all out of free samples today. <laughs> there you are! You're late and minor glitching of the city, but whatever. I've been waiting for you to get here. You need your very own Pokemon, so come to my lab right away. Let's go! And this is Professor Tim's lab, who looks, looks an odd lot like... What the hell? Okay, Professor Oak disappeared, now she, he's a chick. So, in the 2.5 seconds it took to walk up the scream, he got a transvestite, uh, like, operation or something. I don't even know. Finally, he's here. Let's hurry. Be patient. Now then... Are you both ready for your first Pokemon? Uh, maybe. There are three Pokemon here. Haha! <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. My grandfather was a great Pokemon trainer. Really? Since he's dead, <laughs> he gave me a few of his old Pokemon to me. So you're giving me his Pokemon? Wait, whose voice is all this? I don't even know. Yes, so go ahead, Ross, choose one to keep. Okay. So, I guess I'll choose the first one. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I don't need to be greedy like you. Go ahead and choose, Ross. Way to change the voices. No, I don't want to listen to that again. No, god damn it. What do you have to say? Now, uh, Ross, which Pokemon? <laughs> he seriously did change, like, clothing. I thought I was just doing a joke there. Alright. So, I decided to go for Squirtle. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerful sprays foam from its mouth. So, you want the water Pokemon Squirtle? I will take the water Pokemon Squirtle. I would take Bulbasaur. However, like I said, I'm doing Bulbasaur when I do Pokemon Red. So, I shall stick with Squirtle right now. What will be your name, little Squirt? I'm going to call you... Uh, I don't even know. Okay. In Pokemon Sapphire, I named Pokemon after alliteration of what their final name was going to be. In Pokemon Crystal, I named them after Let's Players. Now, what am I going to name after? I know. Cute snack food names. Squirtle, your name shall be... Uh... Oh, I know, I know. His name is going to be... Biscuit. Yeah, there, there's his name. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so cute snack food names is going to be the next theme. Oh man, I already got a bunch of names in my head now. I'll take this one then. I should probably be doing... Maybe I could, like, get Ann to do his voice. That'd be hilarious if I could get Ann to do the voice acting for this. I'll have to, like, place it over the language. So, from here on out, I won't do his voice anymore. I'll try and see if I can get Ann to do the voice acting for him. That'd be hilarious. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Technically, my next-door neighbor is also Tim, so I could do the voice for that, however. Eh, nah. Let's check out our Pokemon. No, oh, do we have to? Alright. 
so there was my first test. Let's see if Anne will actually put in his voice acting for that. That'd be funny. Let's let's see if I can remember. All right, welcome to Pokemon Brown. Anne wants to fight. Who are you going to send out? Here comes Bulbasaur, and here goes Biscuit. All right, Biscuit, this is going to be your very first Pokemon battle. It's time to tackle the shit out of this bastard. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. God damn it, Bulbasaur, for having super high defense, which is the main reason I like you. Luckily, Bulbasaur doesn't have that high of an attack, so I should be able to beat this thing down eventually. It'll take a hell of a long time, especially if he keeps growling, but, you know, that's just what you have to do. Keep it, Biscuit. Tackle him to death now. Tackle a motherfucking doom. Your crowd won't work now. My attack's already low. It's fucking bullshit. Quit now. Tackle. Critical hit. There we go. Good job, Biscuit. 67 experience. Level 2. Level 6, Biscuit. And decent statage. Oh right, this is before the physical special, or this is before the whole uh, uh, special attack, special defense split. I need to train this Pokemon more. Roscoe, 175 bucks for winning. Okay. okay. I now understand the difficulty of training. Yeah, yeah, you probably do. Ross, we will meet again. See you later, ass. And off he goes, loser. Okay, time to go check and see what this lady has to say. Professor Tim is the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I study Pokemon as Professor Tim's aid. I have the same voice as the guy over to the left. And what do you have to say, Professor Tim? Ross, raise your Pokemon by making it fight. That's kind of mean, isn't it? And luckily Biscuit is all healed. It's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank, and I gotta stop speeding up. Let's go. And this is Tim's lab. Okay. Did I ever check what this town's name was? Rabble Town, a nice city by Merson Cave. That's cool. Okay. So, we have pretty much got our first Pokemon, so what the hell are we going to do now, you may ask? Well, I have the perfect idea of what we're going to be doing now. Let's go. Can you, like, pick up an item here? No, no item. That's lame. Alright, let's go, Mr. Green Guy. I like this place a lot. The air is fresh and clean here, even though it's covered with, like, shit everywhere. Seriously, it's, like, brown and everything. Alright. Uh, the Pokemon Mart should be over here-ish. Where is the Pokemon Mart? There it is. This was made by Cool Boy Man www.coolboym.com Poke Oh, hey, there you go! Haha! <laughs> I know this is a total plug, and it's pretty selfless, and it's, uh, it's pretty desperate, but you know what? He made this whole game, and I don't really give a shit, so go visit that site, because he's pretty awesome. And I forgot to plug who made this game in the beginning. <laughs> hey, you know Professor Tim. I do, in fact, know Professor Tim. He ordered something, and his order came in. Will you take it to him? Alright, I guess I'll take his parcel then. Ross got Tim's parcel. Yep, I called it. Okay, say hi to Tim for me. Gotcha. Yay, potions are available. This shop sells plenty of Pokeballs. Sale, 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 sale. Okay, alright, I'm not allowed to buy things, I guess, until I go return his parcel to him, I suppose. Do 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 da 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 dum. Walking over to Tim's to deliver his parcel. I don't know what the hell it could be. Let's take a quick look and ask him what the hell it is. Hey, Mr. Tim. Oh, Ross. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. Uh, we didn't do anything with it. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Ross delivered Tim's parcel. Thanks for picking this up at the Mart. I forgot. Coming! Oh, right, I'm not supposed to do his voice.
What do you need from me now? Yeah, what do you need us for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is an invention. Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Ross and Ian, take these with you. Ross got a Pokedex from Tin. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was Grants' dream. But he is dead, and cannot do it. He is dead. <laughs> so I need you two to do it for him. Please accept this request. I can't do it because I'm old. <laughs> I will do that all for you. Ross, I will fill this up and you won't. <laughs> That's what she said. I know I'll buy lots of Pokeballs with all my yen. That way, I'll get them all. Ross, what a dick. Yeah. Why are we even friends? Jeez. Pokemon around the world waits for you, Ross. I wonder if this is supposed to be like Tim's daughter. I'm just like fucking around this whole time. <laughs> I don't even know. All I saw was, like, Tim, like, the Professor Oak guy, like, come and grab me, so... Maybe there was, like, a whole glitch in the system. Maybe I'm playing an outdated version. That'd be kind of bad if that was a... Oh my god, that'd be a horrible case if I was playing an outdated version. Hi there, may I help you? Sure you may. Pokeball, Potion, Enerdote, and Matt... What the hell? Why do you have a Max Potion? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Time to buy some stuff. Let's just grab, uh... uh I don't know. Ten... Eh, that's a little too much. I don't like to buy a ton of Pokeballs at the beginning. Let's buy, like, five. I usually don't try to, like, fill the Pokedex anyway, so it makes sense. There's my Pokeballs, and as for potions, let's buy five of those bad boys as well. Good, and as for antidotes, we'll buy two. That sounds about right. Okay. Uh, is there anything I can sell? Uh, no, it does not appear so. Gotcha. Thank you, come again. Let's go and take a quick look. Merson. Welcome to Merson Cave. And welcome to Merson Cave. Gotta look around here and let's see what's inside. Inside Merson Cave, you're going to find a lot of different types of Pokemon. For example, Zubat is one main Pokemon you'll find. Go, Biscuit. Biscuit of Doom. Yep, one of the first things, one of the very first challenges, is in fact, a cave. Hmm, you know, Zubat wouldn't be a bad Pokemon to start out with, but it's just like the first Pokemon you find. So I don't really think I want him. And this battle is going to take eons, so let's just uh, do a little thing I like to call speed up. Yeah, I usually don't like to speed up, but uh, for that case, if it's going to take like five years to beat the stupid thing. I think Tackle, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Becoming a Pokemon trainer? Shit. Ooh, this is going to be a little rough. I don't know if I'll be able to beat this little kid. This little brat. Rattata. Well, it's level 3. That's easy-ish to beat. Plus, I have potions, so I should be able to take him down. And I might get a level up and get bubble. So, who knows? I should be able to beat this little brat. Please don't tail whip. Oh, damn it. That's not good. I don't want to lose defense for the next battle. Another tackle, and down goes the first Rattata. Please give me Bubble. There we go. I get Bubble at level 7, right? No, I don't. Son of a bitch. Not good. Just keep tackling, Mr. Biscuit. Oh, here comes the Leech Life. That's probably going to do more damage than it did last time because of the Tail Whip. No, well, not that much. I can still take this thing down. A little more HP. Seriously, there was like a Zubat level 4. How come you didn't catch that, you little brat? It was right over there right across the damn way, but no, you decided to go for the weaker one. That's not very sensical, considering the enemy trainers don't even really... <laughs> what the hell? It did two damage every time, got a critical hit, and did, like, one. That made no sense. Okay, and finally comes the Rattata. Let's see if I can take care of this little brat. Why do I keep saying that? I keep calling him a brat. I mean, that's what it is, but gonna be a mean about it. Oh god, here it comes. What the hell? His critical hits are doing less damage than his regular hits. And I took him out without even using a single potion. Biscuit grew to level 8. Good job, Biscuit. You're you're my favorite. And now, of course, he learns Bubble. 
Oh man. And we took care of Swiper the Fox, and we got ourselves a little bit of money, not much. But we got to heal Biscuit up, and let's see if we can find any more Pokemon. Okay, Geodude. Nah, screw the Geodude. Bubble him. What else we got? We got another Zubat. That's bullshit, I don't want a Zubat. Fuck him. What else we got? Another Zubat. Fuck that. Oh, Vulpix. Uh, Vulpix? Vulpix? You know, Vulpix doesn't sound too bad. I could use a Vulpix. Vulpixes are kind of fun to use, in fact. What is his move, anyway? Does he have Ember? Oh, he does. You know what? Let's go for it. I actually kind of want a Vulpix. Why not? This might be overdone because he's, like, right here, but I don't really give a shit. Vulpix was awesome in the first game. Ah, damn it, Vulpix. You little jerk. Pokeball. There we go. Vulpix was caught. I need to stop speeding up. New Pokedex data will be added for Vulpix. At the time of its birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip and grows older. Do you want to give a nickname to it? Of course. Alright, so I already got little, uh, Biscuit. So what should this thing be called? Hmm. Why not? Well, no, no I want to save that one. How about... Huh. Oh, I know, I know. Here we go. Muffin. This is going to be the greatest playthrough ever, let me tell you. Just quickly do a teleport through here. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I need to go heal Muffin up. I don't want to waste my potions unless I have to. If I remember correctly, however, you do not have a Pokemon Center in this area. So, in other words, you actually have to either go to this place and heal him up. I don't know if you can. There's a message here. Mr. Tim, don't forget about our date tonight. Love, Stephanie. Okay, yeah, he is definitely a boy that just changed into a girl. I really hope I'm not playing an outdated version. Otherwise, I'll be, like, friggin' pissed. Like, when they get later to, like, an outdated part and I'm not allowed to continue. Oi. But, you should take a quick rest. If that was the case, though, I think I'd just, like, quit the playthrough at that point. But, yeah, that's the only place you're allowed to take a rest. And Muffin over here is... Muffin. Okay. Zoom through again, and let's get back to where we were. I apologize for all the speeding, but... We are finally back. Let's stop speeding. Okay. Ooh, damn it. I actually need to get some experience to go to old Muffin, because Muffin needs to gain experience. I do not want him holding me behind. Especially at, like, the later gyms and later Pokemon we have to run into. So, Muffin, we are going to do a little bit of training. I could do some off-screen training, but I'm pretty sure walking around will give me enough experience. Come on, let's find something. Better run into something before that girl kicks our ass. What do we got? We got a Diglett. Diglett should be easy enough to take out. I was thinking about getting a Diglett, but... Seamus already did that, so that's cheating. Oh, I forgot how stupid Vulpix looked when you, like, look at him in, like, the behind picture. Yeah, Ember will work out fine. Diglett doesn't really have a very good special stat, plus its HP is, like, even worse, so... It should be really easy to take care of this thing. And down it goes. How much experience do we get? We got 46. That's a pretty good amount. Let's run into something else. How about something else? Already said that I'm trying to find a goddamn thing. Any fucking thing to fight for picks or muff. Then find something. Thank you. It's a level 4 Zubat. And luckily it only knows Leech Life, which is not very effective against Mr. Vulpix. So I will pretty much just Ember it to death. That sounds like a plan. Even if it's a critical hit, I doubt it will do more than one damage, so... I got this in the bag, Muffin. Haha. <laughs> Two critical hits in a row, that's pretty good. Level 5 Muffin. What do you get now? Nothing. How fast is this thing, anyway? I'm pretty sure this thing is supposed to be pretty damn fast. Yeah, it has 12 speed. So it's definitely going to be faster than my other guy. Plus, its special isn't that bad, either. Well, then again, Biscuit is pretty well-rounded when it comes to Pokemon. Yep. So, let's just keep going on and uh, fight something else. 
Uh-oh, do you want to battle? Okay then, let's go. I wonder what kind of Pokemon she has. Probably something stupid, I'm sure. Something stupid, I'm sure. Oh, Pikachu, that's not good. Alright, Muffin, let's take care of the little Pika crap. Luckily, Growl is completely worthless on a Pikachu, considering all it knows right now is Thundershock. Wow, I actually burned him. That worked out well. But it failed. Hurt by the burn, and hurt by the amber. This is working out good. Oh, here comes the Thundershockle. I call it Thundershockle after, like, my Fire Emblem, uh hack I'm having in play, because I have Thundershock as one of the tomes, and it has like half its letters cut off, so it looks like it's spelled Thundershockle. It's really funny. And here comes the Clefairy. Clefairy looks dumb. Oh well. Ember. Blink thing. Hey, if you guys are just going to keep using Growl, I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, that's a piece of shit move, especially against Muffin. This is gonna hurt. Ooh, I'm alive, and I can use that potion to its best ability, healing 20 HP. And again, keep using Growl, I don't really give a crap. That's more what I prefer that you use. Clefairy... Die. And Muffin might be level 7 now? Nope, nope, nope. Ross defeated last. Oh, I lost. Yes, yes you did. Thank you for the moolah. Diglett up next. Okay, Diglett. We will take care of you as well. Man, I hope Muffin can learn another move sooner or later. Anything, really. Like, uh... What else could she learn that could potentially be a good move? Maybe, like... Attack? Well... No, I don't really believe it learns any, like, headbutt moves or anything like that. It might learn headbutt. Or it might learn bite. Bite would also be a good move. But I'm pretty content with how Muff Muffin is right now. Like, Muffin doesn't need to be, like, spectacular. It's good enough right now to just use Ember. Okay, Pokeball stuck in the rock. Got an escape rope. I guess he wanted to make sure that was very visible. Another Pokeball over here is a rare candy. Ooh. And since Eevees don't exist yet, that really doesn't matter if you use a rare candy. So that's pretty solid. Uh, 397... And 345. Guess I just used the rare candy on, uh, you then. Biscuit's now level 9, and he gets some decent statage. Good job. Another Zubat! Take care of him as the only way we know how. Burn him. Go, Muffin, use your power of fire. Fire balls. Maybe I'll change, like, the color every single time I, like, end off a session or something. Like, for this session, it'll be brown, for the next session, it'll be, like, green, next session, it'll be blue. That wouldn't be hard to do at all. It takes me, like, two seconds to change the color scheme. Alright. What's up, green hair? I'm lost. Can you tell me the way out of here? Dude, how could you be lost in this place? It's so simple to walk through. Bug catcher wants to fight. What are you doing here, stupid bug catcher? Here's Mr. Caterpie. You, you are so done, Mr. Caterpie. Goodbye. And, wow, it survived. I'm pretty surprised at that. Oh man, I hate String Shot. How the hell is that thing faster than me now? Even with String Shot, that thing shouldn't be faster than me. But, Muffin was able to take care of the problem. And, almost level 8. Well, actually, it'll be a little while before it becomes level 8. Here comes Weedle. Another Ember should take care of Mr. Weedle. With its red clown nose. Seriously, I think that's like a red clown nose. Why? I don't know, because someone thought it was a good idea. Good job, Muffin. Ha 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 ha. And... Caterpie again. I feel like I've seen these trainers before. With their whole trainer scheme. But whatever. This guy hacked a game, and he can do whatever the hell he wants with it. If I hack a game, I can do what I want with it. If I'm good enough, I suppose. Yeah, man, Muffin's gonna run out of PP for Ember soon. That's not very good. Level 8 Muffin, however, that is good. And still no new moves. I'm not surprised, though. I lost. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, I guess I'll just continue onward. This cave isn't too long to my recollection. 
Maybe it's longer than I remembered. I'm just being stupid right now. I don't know. Geo dude. Okay, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, just uh screw it. Don't even fight it. I know it's special defense is like shit. And Muffin could still probably take care of it, even with only three embers left, but still, don't wanna risk it. No, it'd be really nice right now, an ether. That that would be great, I'm gonna tell you what. Oh, I would totally use that, even though you're probably not supposed to, considering it's very good to save the ethers, considering you can't, like, buy them anywhere. However, this game might have changed that. Might have been one of those nice games to change that. You never know. Oh, boy, another. Slowpoke. Oh, man, if I had, like, picked Bulbasaur, I'd totally go for Slowpoke. Hmm. I have the feeling I'm about to get interrupted. So, you know what? I think now would actually be a good time to end off the episode. I know that sounds kind of a dumb place to end, but I think that is probably the proper place. So next time, when we come back, we will continue through this cave and, uh, continue through this cave, make it to the next city, fight Pokemon. See you guys next time for that. Bye.